Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to the fourth online Arabic lesson. This lesson, inshallah, will be about classroom objects in Arabic. Before starting this lesson, we need to visit our last week lesson, which was about food and drink. We said last week we said lahm uh, it means meat, dajaj, chicken, samak, fish. Rose, rice, salata, salad, cake, cake is the same, pizza, sandwich, which is similar, uh, asir, juice, shai, tea, kahwa, coffee, and ma it means water. And we said if we need to say I am hungry, you will say ana jawan and I'm thirsty, Anna Atshan. If you need any more information about food and drink, you can visit school website and go to the YouTube channel. You will find it there. Let's go back to our lesson, which is a classroom objects. The learning objective for this lesson is to name some classroom objects in Arabic. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to uh, name some classroom objects in Arabic, inshallah. Ask for classroom objects in Arabic and use the expression min fadlik in Arabic. Let us start. The first one is Qalamun 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 كتاب 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 دفتر 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 مقلمة 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 مبرات 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 ممحات 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 مسطرة 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 لاصق 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 ألوان 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 ساعة 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 ورقة 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 سلة 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 Now, <clears throat> before recapping the class uh, room objects, now we need to go to the second targets, as we said, which is how to ask about any item in your classroom or some classroom objects so as we said we need to start with uridu uridu it means i want and always remember to finish your request with please which is min fadlik which is the polite way if you want if you request for anything so start with uridu 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 it means i want then finish it with min fadlik. Min fadlik mean please. For instance, I will say uridu qalaman. Uridu qalaman. Uridu, I want qalaman. Pencil, min fadlik. Look, I finish it with min fadlik. It means please. Uridu kitaban min fadlik. I want a book. Please. 
أريد كتابا من فضلك so من فضلك so أريد look this is three dots that mean these three dots all what you need to add any classroom objects أريد قلما من فضلك أريد كتابا من فضلك I want a book please أريد ألوانا من فضلك I need colors please or I want color please so always remember if you want to ask about any item from your colleagues or your friends or at home from anyone start with أريد and name the objects you want to then finish it with من فضلك it's very important to finish it with من فضلك which is the polite way to ask for something in Arabic language which means please it is common always to say please always keep this in your tongue always use it please if you ask in English and من فضلك if you ask in Arabic let us recap some classroom <coughs> objects in Arabic قلم كتاب دفتر مقلمة مبراة ممحاة مسطرة لاسق ألوان ساعة ورقة سلة Let us do them again and you can repeat after me قلم كتاب دفتر مقلمة مبراة ممحاة مسطرة لاسق ألوان ساعة ورقة and سلة well done now this is list of vocabularies for you just this will help you to learn them or to refer any time to know what object is قلم this is how to pronounce it in Arabic قلم كتاب كتاب دفتر دفتر and leave the rest for you now this is the end of the lesson but before finishing it just I will explain the tasks for you next week and this will be uploaded in your class dojo the first task is write the following classroom objects in Arabic and the first one has been done for you just write them in the box here قلم write this one here which is kitab write it down here if you find difficulties of how to write them just refer back to the meaning to the meaning list which is this one this will help you how to write kitab and how to write any classroom objects مقلمة ألوان سلة مبراة this is the first task and the second task is I want you to translate the following Arabic sentences into English and the first one has been done for you also أنا أريد and remember what we said أنا أريد أريد it means I want قلما من فضلك I want a pencil please أنا أريد كتابا و و we know what's و و if you need to connect two sentences together we will use و أنا أريد كتابا و قلما من فضلك so write the translation here أنا أريد ورقة go back to the meaning list you will find it أنا أريد ورقة و look I connect the two sentences with و و ألوانا من فضلك هذه ورقة صغيرة هذه it means this is we did it before أريد لاسقا من فضلك just write the translation here 
So this is the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoy it. See you next week, inshallah, with another lesson. Assalamu alaikum.